Welcome to Unboxing Tech. Today I have with me the 2022 version of the Apple iPhone SE in their new shades, Starlight and Midnight. And with them, I have a haul of compatible cases from Rinke, one of my favorite brands. Let's get started. First, we have the standard Rinke Fusion in clear. This is your run-of-the-mill hybrid clear case with TPU edges and a hard polycarbonate back. The simple and clean look is the Fusion's biggest selling point and its slim design brings out the natural charm of the iPhone SE. Installation is super easy as the case just snaps right on. The Fusion Clear has a glossy back that reflects light almost like a mirror. It beautifully shows the slightly off-white color of the starlight shade. All the cutouts are made to match the device with ample amount of space around the charger. On the side is the signature lanyard hole. The buttons are covered for extra protection and the mute switch is easy to reach. The SIM card is covered up. And here's the Fusion branding. The buttons are also super easy to press and responsive. There is a lift around the edges of the front screen for a bit of added protection. And the edges around the camera are also slightly lifted. While the Fusion Clear is very beautiful to look at, the glossy back is prone to fingerprints after time and usage. They are easy to wipe off, but there's no real way to keep it clean all the time. If that sort of thing bothers you, you can pick up the Fusion in matte instead. The Fusion matte doesn't reflect light as brightly as the Clear does, but it also downplays any fingerprints and smudges for a cleaner looking phone. The Fusion case is also wireless charger compatible. Next up, we have another variation of the Rinke Fusion case. This is the Fusion card. As its name states, it's the Fusion case with a card holder built into the back. The case is a glossy clear, while the card holder is a more matte material. From the looks of it, this card holder is super thin and barely adds any additional thickness to the overall case. It's just big enough to hold a standard size plastic card. There's an opening on the side to help you push out the card when you need it. The card holder firmly holds the card in place, as you can see. I definitely wouldn't worry about losing this card at any rate. One thing is that in order to preserve the overall slimness of the case and phone, this card holder only has space for one card at a time. You can't really force in a second card, not unless you want to break either the card or the card holder. Even with a card inserted, you can wirelessly charge your device. Just make sure the card itself won't interfere with it. Here it is with the credit card. It works! Moving on to the Rinke Fusion Magnet, another entry in the Rinke Fusion line. This is a MagSafe compatible case with the magnets built into the matte coated polycarbonate back. The magnets are fitted into the case from the inside, so you can't feel it from the outside, but you can feel the edges from the inside of the case. So the iPhone SE doesn't have MagSafe magnets built into it, but the MagSafe charger does still work with it. So the point of the Fusion Magnetic is to act as a connection between the phone and any MagSafe accessories. The magnets are super powerful, and the MagSafe charger snaps right into place. It does require quite a bit of force to move around or pull off, and it is strong enough to hold the phone on the charger alone. Of course, it also charges without any issue. Next in the Fusion lineup is the Fusion Design, Flower Edition. This is the Wildflower, and this is the Floral Design. Taking a closer look at the wildflower, it's a design of cute little flower clusters of mostly blue, purple, and white. Rinke takes advantage of the clear polycarbonate back to create a layered look for more dimension by printing on the inside and outside of the case. The floral design is a bit more simple with cute flower doodles in these brighter colors. It also has the inner and outer printing for a layered effect. I actually really enjoy the way this pairs with the starlight color. Here are the case designs switched up. Last of the Fusion lineup is this. This is the Rinke Fusion Edge. It features soft TPU edges and a hard polycarbonate back. It feels like a sturdy, well-built case overall. 
It snaps on over the iPhone SE without any issues, and the end result is a natural, clean finish. The cutouts are made to perfectly match the charging ports and the speakers, with a lanyard hole on both sides and covered up buttons as well. The mute switch is easily accessible too. You can see the Rinky branding right above the lanyard hole on the right. The buttons are also super clicky and responsive. There is a lifted edge around the camera, and the top and bottom of the front screen has a raise for extra protection. All in all, a beautiful hybrid case. But what makes this one different from the regular Fusion? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the standard Rinky Fusion case. It is a bit difficult to show the difference on camera, but the sides are noticeably different when you hold the cases. The Rinky Fusion Edge version has straight sides compared to the curve in the normal Fusion case. The top has the same detail of just flat and straight edges on the Fusion Edge, while the regular Fusion has a gentle curvature to fit the natural design of the iPhone SE. This design on the Edge is very reminiscent of the newer iPhone 12 and 13 designs, or the old iPhone 4 design. Even the corners are slightly sharper on the Edge version. This flat side design does add a bit more TPU all around for a thicker looking device, but I imagine the extra bulk will provide extra cushioning for improved protection. Both the standard Fusion and Fusion Edge are great cases, and it really boils down to personal preference on which you'd go for. The Rinke Fusion Edge is also wireless charger compatible. Next up, we have the Rinke Fusion X, which also is a classic Rinke case. It has black TPU sides and a clear polycarbonate back, making it a hybrid case. The Fusion X easily fits onto the iPhone SE without any problems, and the unique X design looks awesome when paired with the midnight iPhone SE. The cutouts are made to fit the speakers on each side, as well as the charging port. There is a signature lanyard hole on either side of the case, and the buttons are covered and have a unique texturing to differentiate them. The mute switch is also easily accessible. You can see the Fusion X branding here above the textured power button. The sides of the Fusion X have these detailed circular pattern for increasing grippability of the case. The cover buttons are easy to press, and quickly responsive. As the back of the Fusion X is a glossy polycarbonate, it does suffer from being a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but all the smudges are easily wiped off too. The corners of the Fusion X has these little protrusions to make its unique look, except for the camera corner for obvious reasons. The black TPU is lifted around the camera as well as the front screen for added protection. Compared to other hybrid clear cases, the Fusion X is definitely more on the rugged side. The corners are reinforced with extra shock protection, giving them a bit of a bulbous appearance. Even with all the extra protection, the Fusion X is still slim and lightweight, fitting great in my hands and is super grippy as well. I will say that the corners do have sharper edges and may not feel great to people with particularly sensitive skin or issues with sensory details like this. The Rinke Fusion X is also wireless charger compatible. Aside from the standard clear back, you also have an option to get the camo design. The camo print has a bit of a texture to it and is printed on the clear polycarbonate, so you'll always see the color of your phone underneath. The design looks very subtle on the midnight color, as you can see here. Next, this is the Rinke Onyx case. It's a case made entirely of TPU, so it's super flexible. The inside is fairly simple, and the back has a bit of a gravelly texture on it, but it's still soft to the touch. This is the black color, by the way. It has more of a gray tint compared to the blue-black of the iPhone SE Midnight. The cutouts are made to fit the speakers and the charger port, with the lanyard hole and Rinke Onyx branding on the bottom right side. 
The sides have a circular dot texture to help with grip, and it's subtle enough that it's barely noticeable unless you're really looking at it. The buttons are all covered, and the volume buttons have these little plus and minus indicators etched into them. The mute switch is also easy to get to, and the buttons are very easy to press. There's a lift around the back camera, and the front screen for extra protection. A benefit of the TPU material is that it is lightweight, making it very easy to hold. The onyx case is non-slippery, thanks to the circular details on the side and the granulate texture on the back as well. There are these protruding sections on the corner here that help balance the phone and prevent wobble when placed on the back, which is a great attention to detail on Rinke's part. Also, the Rinke Onyx is wireless charger compatible. The Rinke Onyx also comes in additional colors, such as navy. Next up, we have the Rinke Air S case. The Air S is also a case made entirely of TPU, so it is super flexible and soft. Here's what the inside looks like before we cover it up by fitting the phone in there. This is such a simple yet pretty case. It follows the curves and design of the iPhone SE to a T, and the lavender gray color is very attractive. The cutouts are perfectly made to match the speakers and charger port. You can see the lanyard hole and the cover buttons here, and the mute switch is open for easy reach. The other side also has a lanyard hole, with the Rinke branding very subtly placed above it. The buttons are super easy to press and quick to respond. Although slim, there is an ample amount of lift around the back camera, and the front screen has lifted edges around the top and bottom for extra protection. I love the feel of this case. It has a soft coating on the back that is both smooth yet grippy. It's very easy to hold and isn't at all slippery. The slimness of the case adds almost zero additional bulk and weight to the phone itself. This is a great case for people who want that no case feeling, but still want the protection a case brings. The coating on the outside brings a matte feeling to the case for a clean, high quality look. The Air S case is also wireless charger compatible. The Air S also comes in pink and black colors. But if the opaque look isn't for you, Rinke has the Air case. This is the Air glitter, which has fine silver glitter specks in the clear back. It's made of a TPU material and has the same slim build as the Air S case. You'll see that the specs are about the same as the Air S case as well, including precise cutouts, lanyard holes, and cover buttons that are easy to press. The camera and screen are also well protected with a lift around them. Unlike the Air S case, there isn't that soft feeling coating on the standard Air case, so it does feel a bit grippier overall. It's also super slim and lightweight for the most comfortable hold. Frankly, I'm obsessed with the way the silver glitter looks on the Midnight. The Air case is also wireless charger compatible. By the way, this is what the Glitter Air case looks like on the Starlight. Super beautiful and sophisticated. And those are the cases I have from Rinke for the newly released iPhone SE 2022. Thanks for sticking around with me until the end. See y'all next time. Bye!